Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video I will show you how to play Skate 3 on PC. So this game is not on PC because it was released for PS3 and this is the only platform you can play this game on. So naturally we will need to use a certain emulator, an app that will allow us to play this game on PC. So first of all in your search bar type in RPCS3. This is the emulator that we will use to play our Skate 3 on our PC. Go to the website. It's the official website, so accept this warning. Now press download 64-bit, download this app to your PC and install it. Alright, so the next thing we will do is we need to download a firmware for our emulator. It's a PlayStation 3 firmware, so just type in PS3 firmware and download it from the official website. Okay, now get back to your emulator. Now press on file, install firmware and choose the file that you have just downloaded. As you can see, I have a firmware of a previous version, which is 4.89, and I'm going to update it. So just press on yes, or overwrite. But in your case, you're installing this for the first time, so you will not get this message. You will just get something like install firmware. Just press yes. All right, very fast installed. All right. Now, as you can see, it's computing the PPU modules. Do not skip this, do not close the emulator. This is a very necessary step in setting up the emulator. Just wait. Okay, now that you have a game downloaded, you want to go to your settings. So press on configuration, click CPU. This is going to bring up a new window with all of our available settings. All right, so my suggestions as to the settings in the emulator, all right? So CPU tab. I suggest leaving this alone. In the GPU, you might want to increase your resolution if your PC is good enough to run this game at a higher resolution. That's actually, yes, that's possible. So naturally, natively, on the PS3 itself, it's going to be running at 720p, I believe. It's the native resolution of the console itself. You can go higher and you can set it to full HD, as you can see. Uh, now, you can also change the renderer, so if you have a AMD card, Vulkan is better. If you have a NVIDIA card, OpenGL is better. Um, you can also select your video card if you have two. <laughs> Most people have one video card installed on one PC. Okay, now also choose multi-threaded RCX. This will make sure that all of your CPU cores are used. And everything else you can basically leave untouched. Maybe you can also uh, go to your pad settings. Right, so I have my controller connected. So in the pad settings, you need to choose your pad. So as you can see, my gamepad is connected. Here's me touching my gamepad's analog sticks, and you can see everything's working. Most of the modern emulators have the settings pre-built, so you will not need to uh, manually adjust your controls for every single button. So as you can see, everything is already done for us. All the buttons are set, including the analog sticks. Just like I show you, they work. So just leave this alone. Just make sure that you choose a standard pad, PS3 controller, and that's it. You can also see your battery status here, which is handy. Then click save. And now as you can see, I already have my game downloaded. And it also says that a update is available. All right, so if you go to the settings, as you can see, we have patches for our game. Um, and it asks you if you want to update them, press yes. It will download the latest patches and uh, you might ask what are the patches well patches are very very good things it allows you to play this game at 60 fps which is insane and uh, natively on ps3 i believe it runs at 30 fps which is le way less smooth so and also there are some cheats as, as well like no fall damage moon gravity just uh, things to play around with also you can change a aspect ratio to a ultra wide screen if you have ultra wide screen monitor, you can select that. I'm just going to choose 60 FPS. Click apply and save. And from here, you can just double click on the game and launch it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.